okay, let's talk. I really loved to all the boys I loved before. I really actually really like the film and it stars an Asian American lead, Laura Jean, and I really like her character. I think she's bubbly and vivacious and full of joy and love and she's quirky and she's all good things. Now, do I love movie covers on books? No. And could this be considered a movie cover on a book? I thought so when I ordered it and uh, it even had the Netflix sticker and I realised this is not the cover from the movie because that is not the Laura Jean that I know and also this is not her bedroom in the movie. Yeah, I kind of lied a little bit in the title just to link back to other videos that you may have seen where I draw on books or paint on books. I'm not going to actually paint on this book, but I'm gonna make like a dust jacket for it and an alternative cover. And I thought that could be like a fair compromise because I thought it was a little unfair to paint on this book when it's not actually a movie cover. If this is your first time dropping in, I'm sorry about the title, <laughs> it's not clickbait, I promise. All my other videos have been book paint overs and they are in playlists which I will link down below. I would just like to say this because I never do, I apologise for doing this at the beginning of the video, but if you would like to catch this sticker set and this limited edition print of my Ghibli redraw, go ahead and go to Patreon because I'm only offering this until the 1st of December and then next month there'll be different stickers and um, prints. Sorry for having to sub there. I am so in love with these brush markers. I think I want to do everything with them from now on because I just love using them. I even bought a few more and took some of the like partitions in the box out to add a few more colours to the whole box. So there's more than 48 in my collection which is a bit crazy actually thinking about it. Anyway I decided to use this and I used um, the Windsor & Newton brush marker paper with it as well so I made the little dust jacket out of paper and I think it was quite thin but it still works because once the colours on top you can't see the book through the paper. It obviously isn't like the most perfect dust jacket but I think it definitely helps to put a cover to this book when I didn't want to paint on top of it. I hope you guys can forgive that, um, obviously I already stated the reasons why so I won't go into it again. If you haven't read or watched the films to all the boys I loved before, basically what happens, and I'll just give a little brief uh, representation of what the book's about, no spoilers. Um, basically what it's about is this girl called Laura Jean and she writes a letter to any guy that she's kind of loved or had a crush on in the past and she writes the letter to say goodbye to them and then puts it away in her hat box and like tucks it away and um, to like help her process and forget about the boy that she fancied or liked and then over the years she's obviously accumulated a lot of these letters and one day they just go missing and you find out that they've all been posted so a lot of uh, stuff happens awkward situations with some of these boys and she has to kind of cover up why she's done this and in the story she makes a fake relationship with a guy to avoid an awkward situation with another guy and it's really funny and charming and cute and it's just generally like a nice contemporary young adult read and it doesn't take too much effort to read and it's just you know it's a nice happy story and I did really enjoy it I think I have a bit of a soft spot for contemporary um, books especially young adult I think it just it takes me back to being like a teenager and all those feelings and stuff. It's just really nice. I really enjoyed these books. I'm currently reading the sec the the third one in the series. I finished the second one the other, a few weeks ago, and I was going to make this like three books in one, but I decided to have a go with just painting the first book. And if everyone likes this, then I'll go ahead and do the other two books, and then we'll see them all together and I think that could be quite cute but uh, let me know if you want to see that because there's no point doing it if nobody wants to see it you know so I decided to do a little bit of an abstract um, kind of representation of this book because the original cover is obviously Laura Jean in her room and 
I didn't really want to represent it in exactly the same way as the original cover because then what was the point? Um, so I have like Laura Jean kind of sitting on cloud nine because she's always kind of up in the sky and her head is a bit, you know, she's a bit of a fantasy kind of person. She's always daydreaming and falling in love with people and I just thought it made sense for her to be sitting on cloud nine and then all these letters are just whooshing by her like somebody's let them go into the wind and they're all heading off to the different boys and I really like it I like the colors and I think it's really cute I wanted to try something different with like using different inks and pencils and the alcohol markers on top and I think it really works I never have I haven't actually tried this paper before so I wasn't sure how it was going to handle the ink and everything but I think it worked quite well. With the alcohol markers even though it's made for it it kind of left a bit of a texture but I don't mind that we all know that I like texture so I just went with it and added a lot more texture with pencils and stuff and tried to separate the areas and uh, make it like a really mythical abstract fantasy kind of illustration and I really liked it. I had a bit of a struggle with Laura Jean's face because I did sketch this out a couple times, um, like did a little bit of a thumbnail in my sketchbook and I like drew, drew out her face and I really liked the face that I drew in the sketchbook and this face looks a little bit, I don't know, it, it's not quite as I try to do it but in the end it's not awful so <laughs> isn't that a bonus when we can say art oh, isn't awful. So I added these ink um, washes of like swirling and like maybe some magical uh, thing is pushing these letters along to each boy and I thought it worked quite nicely. I had I went over a little bit with the details and I just wanted to make sure that Laura Jean sit or sitted a little bit better in this environment and she blended in a little bit well. And yeah, I, I really liked it in the end uh, and I hope that you guys like it too. Let me know what you think. It's one of those ones where it's so different from the original that it it might not be to everyone's taste, especially if you like the book, because maybe it, it doesn't really have anything to do with the book except for the letters and obviously the main character. But, you know, it's an abstract kind of um, idea of the, the sort of feeling you get in this book because it's so it's very romantic and lovey-dovey and uh, it kind of fits Laura Jean's personality she's uh, always quite lovely and uh, you know yeah always daydreaming like I said so I think this works perfectly and uh, yeah I hope you guys like it I used a lot of inks and uh, different mixed media and I just enjoyed the process I definitely enjoyed the Netflix film too, which I actually watched first, so if you're interested in finding out more about this story then give that a go, because it's actually quite a nice film, and it doesn't really like patronise like a teenage audience either, I think it does well with like kind of some hard subject matters, which is always good to, to see in a young adult kind of contemporary piece of work, because I think sometimes it can get to that where uh, it, it sort of dumbs things down for people and I think teenagers are a lot more savvy than a lot of people like to admit so I'm glad that this is quite an open piece of work. Anyway that's kind of the final piece and I will see you at the end. And there is our finished piece of all the boys I loved before. I really like this cover, even though it's kind of a dust jacket. I had the idea to make these little letters, which I think really add something to it. I think it's really cute. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the process and I really like the outcome. I think it's really cute and I think it totally represents what the book is about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want more content and I will see you next time. I would just like to give a massive shout out to my patrons. They are Lamont, Luzonia, Shan, Jordan, Ilera, Devon, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Suki, Steph, Ava, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte, and Alex. Thanks so much, you guys.